Hello fellow problem solvers, so today we're going to be doing a problem from the European Girls Math Olympiad 2021, problem number one. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 15 minutes, ideally 45 to an hour, but not more than two hours. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you take a preliminary look for the next 10 minutes. So now, let's begin. So, the problem states 2021 is fantabulous, and if any of 4n m, if any of the numbers m, 2m plus 1, or 3m are fantabulous, then all of them are fantabulous. And the question is, is 2021 to the power of 2021 fantabulous? So now, the first thing to do is really just to play around and see, okay, we have 2021, what else do we have? Well, one thing I would try to look at is to go backwards. So, like, 2021 is odd, right? Yeah, so we have, what is it? So, for m equals... 1010, we have 1010, 2021, and 330, 303 is fantabulous, so we know this number is also fantabulous. Now given this, this is not divisible by 3, it's not, we can't really get anything from there, but we have this number, 30, 30 as well, this is in F2, is there anything else we can do? Like here I would invite you really to pause for another like 5-10 minutes and try to see if you can like push this down maybe or push it up okay so the next thing i would do is okay let's see for m equals this and uh, no, m equals 2021 what do we have for m equals 2021 we have two times that that is plus one four zero four three this is not divisible by three yet so we can't do anything with that and three times this six zero six three okay interesting numbers what else okay now this is an odd number so we can get from making that 2m plus 1 be equal to this we have what is m m is going to be 3031 and now we can also set this to be equal to 2m plus 1 and then we're going to divide we're going to add 1 divide by 2 and we'll get that 1516 i believe no 1515 is also fantabulous now we can again set this to be this odd number and we'll get that this minus 1 over 2 that is 7, 5, 14. When we divide by 14 we get 0, 7. Wait, what? No, 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 no. 7, 5, 7 is also fantabulous, which is a smaller number. So we're like progressing, we're getting closer and closer to 1. And again, let me go deeper. So let me take, this is also an odd number, 2m plus 1 is this. And now I have m is equal to, what, what do I get? I get this is, so it's 7, 5, 6 over 2, which is 3, how do I get a 5, 3, 7, 8. Okay, now I get 3, 7, 8 is also fantabulous. And now this is an even number. What can I do with him? Well, this number is divisible by 3, so I can divide by 3 and get a new fantabulous number. I get 1 and 78. This is like 2, 18, 6. 1, 2, 6 is also fantabulous. And again, I can divide by 3, because this is again divisible by 3, and I get what? 4, 42 is fantabulous. I divide by 3 again, and I get what? 42. This is 1, 12, 4. 14 is fantabulous. Now I've gotten a really, really small fantabulous number now. And now I'm already starting to build up an intuition. I think like if I get like all 1, that I think almost all numbers will have to be fantabulous. I'll be able to get them somehow. But now we're at 14, so let's see what else do we need. Well, I've divided by 3, but I'm also having like 2 times this plus 1, which is what? 29 is also fantabulous. Still not divisible. Now this is, what's this going to be? This is 2 mod 3. So if we apply 2m plus 1, we'll still get from m to 2m plus 1, we'll still get a 2 mod 3. So this might not be the case. What we should do, it doesn't make sense to go backwards, so maybe there's other things we can do. Maybe multiply this by 3, and what do we get? 87. And now with 87, I can again decrease 1 and divide by 2. And then what we get is, this is 86 over 2, we get 43 is fantabulous. Oh, interesting, wait a second. I had 42, I divided by 3, and then I got a number that is one more than it. This could maybe be a useful thing if I have a number divisible by three, then, and, and that's fantabulous, then maybe n plus one can also be fantabulous. We can check this out, I believe. Yeah, let's do so. So let n be equal to three t, 
then from t, 3t I went to t, and then I multiplied by 2 plus 1, I went to 2t plus 1. Then I multiplied by 3, I went to 6t plus 3, and then I divided by, then I decreased 1 and divided by 1, yeah, huh, if I have 3t, I have 3t plus 1 plus one. And also if I have 3t plus one, like this process goes both ways. If I have t, I have 3t. If I have this, I have t. If I have 6t plus three, I have this. And if I have 3t plus one. Okay, so if I have 3t, I have 3t plus one. Now this can maybe be useful in our induction here. Like if we're going to cover all of the numbers, and it seems plausible that we are, then this could be useful in our induction thing. And now here, I again urge you to like pause and play around with this for the next five, 10 minutes and push the problem further, maybe even solve it. So anyways, where were we? Okay, 43. So now 43 minus one over two gives us what? That is 42 over two, that gives us 21. And now I have 21, now I can again, I can divide by three and I get seven. I can decrease one and divide by two, I get 10. From seven, I can go to what? What I have, seven is seven minus one over two, and I get three. And now from three, I have one, and I have two. And I have my first three numbers, I have one, two, three. And I think I get four, yeah, I get four pretty quickly. It is, wait a second, do I get four? I don't get four pretty quickly. To get four, what do I need? I can't, it's not divisible by three. So I'm either going to need to get 12 and get four, I'll need to get nine to be able to get four. So one of these two will give me four. Can I, I can get nine, so bam, that's four. Oh yes, this is like from three t to three t plus one. So I have three, I have four, interesting. So now here I invite you, if you haven't paused, if you haven't gotten this, I invite you to pause for another five minutes and play with the problem. And now here's my next step. Okay, so we've gotten 3t plus 1 and 3t. And also with this, like if you think about it inductively, like if I if I have, from here I also have t as element of f. Now if my t is my sort of, if I'm doing strong induction, I got all numbers up to 3t. Then because I know I have t, I have 3t and I have 3t plus 1. And now my question is, do I, I just, wait, I just need to get 3t plus 2 in f. I just need to get this number somehow in f. And I'm done really. So if this number here is odd, I'm already done because if this is, if it's odd, this is so it's either 60 plus five or 60 plus two. So if it's odd, then from here, I can go to this minus one over two. I can go to three T plus, what is it? Um, two. And this number is smaller than this. So like sort of inductively, I will be done. Now, the only thing left is this 60 plus two number. How do I get that? So I have this, okay, let's see if I multiply by three. What do I get? I get 18t plus six. I can multiply by three, or I can uh, multiply by two and add one. If I multiply by two, add one, I'll get 12t plus five. Okay, yeah, and this goes backwards. This is oddness, this is times three. So now what? Well, maybe here I multiply by three again, and then I do the odd thing backwards to go down. So if I multiply by three again, and yeah, if I do that, I will be able to, let's see, I'll get 36t plus 15. And if I do the odd, I have 18t plus seven. And now, wait, this is odd again, so I can do the oddness again. And uh, what do I get? I get, this is going to minus one, it's going to be 9t plus three. And now my question is whether this is, oh, but I can divide by three. And I think I'm, I'm great if I do that, I do. Then I get 3t plus one. Oh, so from 6t plus two, I can get to 3t plus one. And this actually is enough for me to complete my induction because I have these initial four things, I can get anything else. Like for example, if I want like from five, five I get easily because I have two. Now six I get because I have three. Seven I get again because I have three. Um, though seven I also get because I have six. And what else now? Eight. Eight is of this form. I get eight because, so I do the odd first, I get eight, so t is here one, right, for eight. So I have eight because I, I get 17. And I have 17 if and only if I have, whew, this is large. 
This is 15 plus 36, this is 51. And I have this if and only if. I have 25, which I have if and only if. I have 12, which I have if and only if. I have that over 3, I have 4, which I do have, so yes, I am done. I'm nearly done. Now it's a matter of writing all of this down. And I invite you to pause for another 10 to 15 minutes and write it all up. Here's the write-up. So the first thing we say, we define with this set F. And now we do a series of moves, which we describe, which gives us that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are all in F. And now we move on to our second claim, which is that all numbers are in F. And we do this by... So we assume that the numbers 1 through n, with n greater than or equal to 5, are in F. And we show that n plus 1 is in F. And we have these four cases. Every one of these cases is solved. And now, this implies by the upper thing that because that this just implies that all n are elements of f. So, 2021 to the power of 2021 is an element of f. And this solves our problem. And as always, thanks for problem solving.